guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is harriet anabo if this is your first time on my channel kindly consider subscribing to my channel and if you're my returning viewer thank you so much for always coming back and clicking into my videos we are live today in the central i'm in katabi and today i want to take you through one of our african dishes that we love preparing here today we're going to prepare rice sweet potatoes and uh, the sauce is going to be eggplants um bitter berries mixed with silver fish that's what we are going to prepare today hello my beautiful people hope you're all doing great happy new year happy 2023 um so you guys today i'm going to be taking you through one of our popular african dishes that we love preparing here in uganda east africa but today i'm in the central and today we are going to be preparing sweet potatoes and rice as our food and the sauce is going to be eggplants bitter berries and silver fish mixed together so today the first thing that i'll do is get my rice and first sort it i'll first winnow it and sort it that's what you do to first clean it and then um the next thing is i'll get my bitter berries and my eggplants and then also cut them as my sister in law helps me with the peeling of the sweet potatoes and that's what she was doing there hope you enjoy the video but you stay tuned up to the end of this video and thank you so much for always 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 clicking into my videos thank you for the support kindly share my videos kindly subscribe and hit on the like button for me and don't forget to throw a sweet comment for your girl so enjoy the video So as I sort my rice, my sister-in-law will go ahead and help me to peel the sweet potatoes. And this is what she was doing here. Don't forget to give your girl a sweet comment. So after peeling the sweet potatoes, she then goes ahead and helps me wash the sweet potatoes before putting them on fire. So after washing the sweet potatoes, my sister-in-law goes ahead and gets the banana leaf that she's going to use to cover the sweet potatoes. Most of the time here in Uganda, in Buganda, the Bagandas always love using the banana leaves to cover their food because it is in their tradition. Yeah, so basically what she was doing here is covering the banana leaf on the food and this is how you do it you first wash it because it is just from the garden and you have to first clean it before you put it on your food and this is what she was basically doing see how it has come out so basically this is how we cover our food here in east africa so after covering our sweet potatoes we went ahead and started to light our sigiris sigiris are basically the charcoal stoves but here in uganda we call them sigiris let me know how you call them in your language so after lighting my sigiris i went ahead and placed my food on fire so that it can start cooking so after sorting my rice um, i went ahead and started preparing the ingredients that i'm going to put in it today we are going to just boil the rice it's just going to be boiled not fried 
that is why you're seeing me putting in the onions so today i'm going to put in the onions the cooking oil the salt and that is all that i'll use as my ingredients in today's rice So after putting the ingredients in my rice, I went ahead and stirred in my rice. So after making sure that the rice is now getting ready, I had to go ahead and reduce on the fire because the heat was too much and I had to reduce on it for it to dry up very well and this is what I was basically doing. So after making sure that my rice is now getting ready, I had to go ahead and wash my eggplants my bitter berries so that I can prepare them too after cooking my food. So after washing my eggplants and my bitter berries, I now went ahead and started to peel off the peelings of the eggplants. Let me know how you prepare your eggplants. But here in East Africa, in Uganda, most of the time, we love peeling off the top layers. Those are the peelings of the eggplants. And after I went ahead and started chopping my eggplants into pieces with the help of my sister-in-law. Then after chopping my eggplants and my bitter berries into pieces, I now went ahead and smoked my silver fish a bit before I place it inside my eggplants and my bitter berries and this is basically what i was doing silver fish is known as mokene here in the central uganda kindly let me know how you call it in your language but don't forget to give your girl a sweet comment So after passing my silver fish on fire, I went ahead and started preparing my ingredients that I was going to use in today's sauce. So basically what I'm going to use today is I'm going to use my tomatoes and I love peeling off this, the tomato covers off the tomatoes. This is how I basically do it. And then I'm, going to, I'm also going to add my onions. I'm also going to use cooking oil and my spices i'm also going to use garlic i love using garlic in most of my sauces because it brings out the nice aroma in my sauce and i'll also add in my green pepper i'll also add in salt so basically that's what i'll use for today's sauce
So after making sure that my spices are now ready, I now go ahead and place in my eggplants mixed with my bitter berries. Kindly consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, share my videos and leave a comment just down below the comment section. So after preparing my bitter berries and my eggplants, I now went ahead and placed in my silver fish. So after a few minutes, my sauce was ready and my food was ready to be served. So with the help of my sister-in-law, she was able to help me serve the food as I served the sauce. So that's our sweet potatoes for today. We're having sweet potatoes and rice. And then the sauce is eggplants mixed with silver fish and bitter berries. So basically what I was doing here is removing my sweet potatoes from the saucepan and then placing them on my banana leaf and basically this is one of our popular dishes that we love preparing here in east africa in uganda hope you have enjoyed the video thank you so much for always watching me and kindly consider subscribing to my youtube channel don't forget to click on the notification bell so that every time i post a video you're the first person to view my videos I'll see you in my next video.